What's up, good people? It's your boy Jay Debonair for CigarCulture.com. And today I've got a really, really good look getting ready to happen right here, y'all. This is the Gurkha Governor's Private Blend. Um, and I, I'm, a, I'm a Gurkha fan, I'll admit it. I like a lot of their blends because it seems to me that many of them uh, fall in the medium to medium full range. They got a couple uh, mild, mild blends, but I'm more of the the medium the full guy and because they have so many cigars uh, they tend to kind of fit the profile that I enjoy the most uh, although at times they you know Gert can be a little inconsistent I think that has a lot to do with just having so many lines so with that being said let's see what's up with the governors now from what I know about it it's an Ecuadorian wrapper and it's got uh, it's from the Dominican Republic so it's got Corojo fillers and they're long fillers so I expect this to be a nice and tasty morsel. Uh, one of the things that they say a lot about this particular cigar is that it has a little bit of spice, a little bit of coffee, and a little bit of cedar. And I don't know where those fall in, so we're going to smoke this and see if we get any of those uh, flavors and uh, when or if they even come and when they come. Uh, so, but you know, I like to get in a good spot and kind of stay there. But I know some of you guys like that complexity, so let's get into it. Let's see where it goes. Hit you with the Young Perfect Cut. With these Gordo sizes, you know, I prefer a V-cut, but to me, I get a lot more flavor from these if I just go ahead and just give them a straight cut. So we're gonna go that route on this one. There we go. All right. Toast, toast, and toast. Yeah, let's get it going. Yep, I must admit, I really do like um, a lot of Gurkha cigars. You know, and I guess in part, when I first became a cigar smoker, and I went into uh, different cigar shops in different places, they had probably the most availability. You know what I mean? Of course, you had La Roma de Cubas and all of those other brands that are, that are extremely popular and extremely good. But they didn't have, seemed like, 40 cigars in there, you know, and for some reason Gurkha did. And I, like I said, I've had quite a few of them, but this is one that I'm not really familiar with. And I don't see these uh, in a lot of the brick and mortar stores. So I thought it'd be good since I got this in a, kind of like a, a five pack. I think this came in a five pack. I don't think this was in the, the little mystery thing. And um. Looks like it might be all right, so let's see. Now, right away, a very loose draw. A loose draw. Yeah, and I've never seen loose draws tighten. I know that sounds like a real sexual. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, but. You know, we're gonna work with it. We're gonna work with it. You know, you can get a tight draw to loosen up. It's hard to get a, a loose draw closed. You know, it's a horrible analogy, James. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get this to the first third, and uh, I'll be back and let you know where we at. All right, I'm back, everybody, with the uh, my review of the first third. Honestly, it was really, really cool. The burn got a little bit out of control, you know what I mean? So it was not exactly a smooth sailing. I had to touch it up a couple times. Uh, but at this point, and basically from the start up until now, it was really, really tasty. I mean, I'm talking about a lot of uh, spicy sweet notes. It's, it's the spice and the sweet are running together. You know, and the sweet is more of a, uh, like a bitter, like a bitter chocolate. Uh, but the spice is not, it's not real strong, you know, ain't nothing that's kill, gonna kill you, but it's just, it's there, you know, but it's mixing together really, really good. So I'm not getting one or the other, I'm getting both. And right now, it's all right, you know, I can see that the, uh, the ash is a little flaky and, um, you know, for this to be a long filler cigar, I didn't think it would do that. Uh, 
because it's got like that flakiness of one of those Cuban sandwiches where you got a little short filler mixed with long filler. I don't believe that's what this is. It probably came from me touching it up, but you know, besides that, burn it nicely. And uh, this thing puts off a ton of smoke. Let me watch this. I mean, like you see it just hangs. And um, I can tell you, you, <laughs> You get two people in one room smoking this one and without some ventilation, it's going to be something, I'll tell you that. But uh, it, it burns really, really good and it's uh, no complaints so far. So I'll get back with you when we get a little bit through the second, third. But as of right now, people, we all right. We ain't one. All right, we're approaching the uh, beginning of the final third. I'm gonna take this uh, this band off because we're getting kind of close. Um, one thing I can tell you, the strength is up and the spice is up. Cedar's still there, uh, but the, uh, the spice is kicking up a bit. And um, like I said, I'm a, I'm a big fan of spicy sweet you know and uh the sweetness is pretty much gone now it's just a a nice spicy uh with the cedar now kind of floating in and out i guess that's the best way i can describe it's floating in and out still good but the strength is up you know and uh i didn't really see it being uh the strength ramping up the way it did it kind of just like bam it popped up but it's still good, and I'm gonna keep on trucking. But that's where we at right now. Still pouring off a ton of smoke. It just lingers in the air. It smells great. Really great smelling cigar, you know. And I, I, I like these. You know, I like a lot of a lot of their flavors. Are, are kind of consistent, you know, with most of the Gurkha line. I mean, they got some heavy stuff like the War Pig and a couple others, but most of them, most of the line that I've tried are all kind of in that medium to medium full range and they all kind of have that spectrum of uh, that sweet cocoa kind of kind of vibe, you know. I don't get all them other flavors that I hear people get like raisins and all of that kind of stuff. It's either cocoa sweet, or bittersweet or chocolate sweet, or something along them lines. And, and the spice isn't a deep, deep spice that spice be all over your throat or whatever. This is just a nice, you know, I can't even really tell you what kind of spice it is. You know, I mean, obviously there's different levels of spice. So if I had to put it into a light, medium, full, I'd say it's a medium spice, you know. It's not so heavy that you don't want to continue smoking it. And I still don't consider this to be a full body smoke, but the spice is there and it's still mixing with the cedar. And that's pretty much it. But I got a feeling, it can, you know, we still got a little ways to go. I don't think I'm gonna nub it, but uh, we're gonna keep on trucking. If I get anything else, I'll let you know. All right, we are now in definitely into the final third of the Gurkha Governor's Gordo Cigar. And uh, at this point, it's been about 40 minutes. And uh, to be honest, I'm tired of smoking. Uh, but uh, right now, the flavors are pretty much a straight tobacco. No spice, no cedar just a nice tobacco flavor that's it and i imagine it's probably how to be on up to the nub so for the for the unbelievable uh price point which i got this at i think it broke down to about five bucks a stick plenty of smoking time i mean it, it, it's a nice uh, relatively slow burn uh the flavors are really good and it's a nice good smoke it's got a lot of good flavors everything from coffee to a little bit of the bitter chocolate 
to the spice and definitely the cedar. And um, it's a great deal. I suggest you guys go out and go to your favorite uh, brick and mortar and pick it up. You know, or like I said, you can go on uh, Cigar Bid or Cigar International and uh, check out some five packs, see if you like it. Um, I'm definitely a fan of it, but then I'm a fan of a lot of uh, Gurkha stuff. Not all of it, but I'm definitely a fan of most of their medium body sticks. And this falls right into that category. And hey, you know, if you like uh, that regular, you know, tobacco flavor, keep on trucking. You know, but for your man, this is where I'm gonna put it down. And I'll be back at you in another one. Holla back.